Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your general reading for the month of October 2024. So we are going to start off with your finances and career and then we're going to move into your love and relationships energy. I will try to remember to um, to timestamp these readings for you, okay? Right, so your first message out is alchemy. The path that you're on is about to go through a very powerful transformation, transition, changing and shift. Okay, so shift in gears this month, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck is divine vision. Get out of your own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Positive focus and look deeper. Okay, so this combination, Capricorn, is saying that the month of October, is going to have a lot of unexpected twists and turns for you this month. So similar to what I said to Virgo, which is make sure that you keep an open mind and be prepared to have your plans changed at the last minute. Okay. Um, now with this divine vision, it's showing when it says get out of your own way, it's what it's showing with that one is um, don't, <laughs> don't be stubborn this month because that would actually work against you okay so definitely do be more flexible um, if there are any sort of projected outcomes that you're placing on something this month definitely do away with them okay because as I've said a lot of unexpected twists and turns for you this month it doesn't mean that that's negative though okay it isn't always a negative right Oftentimes you will find that um, that things fall into place quite nicely without any further input from us. Okay, right. So can we have a look at finances and career for Capricorn for the month of October, please? Finances and career for Capricorn. No. bit of a strange energy there. Short term. This position is temporary, so don't be too attached to it. No worries, you will find something that's even more fulfilling and prosperous. So that's stopgap energy, okay? Uh, short term when it comes down to finances and career. Now, obviously, if you're struggling at this point in time financially, then this is spirit coming through and saying that those struggles is only going to be temporary, okay? OK, uh, you will very soon find yourself on the up and up. OK, that's literally stopgap energy and trapped. You feel stuck in your current situation. So you might feel stuck with your current career. Basically, you might feel like there's a lack of opportunities out there. You know, maybe maybe not many people are hiring or perhaps those who are currently hiring are looking for slaves rather than employees okay we all know how that one goes uh, you feel stuck in your current situation but you do have options look for another job while keeping the one that you have for now so stop gap and safety net all right um, if you don't currently have a metaphorical safety net in place when it comes down to your finances and career, then definitely do make sure that October is the month where you start creating that metaphorical safety net, okay, so that you're not completely left on your arse. Um, and again, do remember that this is temporary. So these struggles are very temporary. So I'm needing to pull more information on this for you. So let's take a look at the tarot. Can you tell us more about this? Oh, for Capricorn, please. Tell us more. What's this short term for Capricorn? What's this stopgap? You could find yourself having to take on an additional job just temporarily as well, just so that you can get out of these harsh financial times. But again, temporary. OK, what's this short term for Capricorn? It's that one there. The two of ones. Yeah. Yeah. Taking on something else, taking on an additional job. Um, they're saying as well to avoid taking on a, 
um, additional financial burdens this month because it's not necessary okay and that could end up doing you a lot more harm than good so don't be putting down any major deposits this month okay what else for short term for Capricorn <laughs> nice the eight of pentacles or the eight of coins yeah it's beautiful that's more sort of long-term position long-term prospects uh working hard paying attention to all of the details um in terms of finances and career it indicates a long-term career is right around the corner so again it's adding weight to the message that i've already given you about how these struggles that you're going through are really really temporary can you tell us more about the eight thank you yeah judgment and the high priestess it's listening to the call listening to your higher calling you see someone here is actually sitting there questioning what is their purpose in life and the answer is for you to be you in this very moment okay there doesn't need to be any huge grand gestures to um to justify your purpose in life or anything like that the whole point is for you to just be you right here right now now there's also indications here that you could be going through some kind of self-assessment here and figuring out okay the job or the career that i currently have not really completely happy with that so you're making a lot of adjustments here but spirit saying before you make these adjustments to your finances and your career make sure that you've got that metaphorical safety net okay what's this high priestess capricorn by the ones yeah trials trials and struggles that's what you're going through at this moment you're going you're going through a rough time at the moment and the emphasis really is on how short term that is okay um right let's take a look at that trapped energy you're also not speaking on what it is that's bothering you right now when it comes down to your finances and career it's like you're keeping all of your worries hidden away almost like you don't want to concern or worry anyone else around you What's going on with this trapped for Capricorn? The Seven of Pentacles. Patience, dedication. Okay. It's like you. I, I don't want to sound patronizing because I know a lot of people um, have been really misunderstanding what i've been saying and taking stuff that i've been saying way out of context right so i can only apologize if this sounds patronizing it's not meant to but spirit's telling you here to be patient okay what else they're also saying that your investment is going to pay off so if you have made a large investment recently then it is going to pay off you just need to be patient with it and it's clarified with another seven the seven of wands um two sevens and the spider that means that you're not going to be defeated okay you're not going to be defeated and that you have to keep on trying that you mustn't quit that you mustn't give up that you mustn't surrender okay the two sevens with the spider it's um it's a, a robert the bruce thing okay the sevens and the spider never quit never give up um you you will win eventually is the message behind that one uh, especially with that beetle as well beetles they are symbols of protection okay uh, i do believe that they were revered in egyptian culture for being really protective right so you are being protected 
right now. There are additional things that you could do in order to increase your levels of protection. That could be anything from standing up for yourself to protecting your energy. Make sure you're not wasting your time with individuals who are going out of their way to misrepresent you, to misrepresent anything that you're saying, anything that you're doing. Okay, don't waste your time justifying yourself to idiots. Okay, and again, with this being the cactus, that's also a message of protection, protect yourself, protect your energy. Um, I mean, I'm feeling this message as be prepared to play the long game with something. Okay. Don't expect any immediate results because you're not going to get immediate results, but definitely emphasis on protection. Okay, can you tell us more about these two sevens for Capricorn, please? Yeah, eight of cups. And then the time comes where you're going to be leaving your current miserable situation in favor of something far superior. Can you tell us more? Thank you. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, again, emphasis on this is going to take time. So you could be feeling that you, you want to leave your current work situation or your current career, like, right now, but Spirit's saying slow down and take your time with it, okay? It's, it's almost like you're being reminded of the practicalities of your situation right now. It, it's like temporarily having to do something that you hate in order to have a much nicer future and a much nicer career at the end of it, you know. Uh, so, for example, I could be speaking to a professional here, uh, you know, someone who's got loads of qualifications and and all the rest and is really well educated really well trained but then finds themselves having to take up temporarily like the job of a janitor or the job of a cleaner or something like that you know yes it's not ideal however given the the current climate there's very little other option right now and if that a horrible job is going to be a stopgap, then that's kind of what is needed right now. Okay, Eight of Swords in the reverse. They're saying don't overthink it. Okay, don't overthink it. So definitely temporarily taking on something that you really don't want to have to do. I mean, it, it's not the nicest message to give, granted, but again, I'm not going to sit here and tweak the read to be something else that it isn't, okay? I, I don't do things like that. Way too much bad juju. So yeah, just remember that this is temporary, Capricorn. It's all temporary. You have a healing message for Capricorn, finances and career, please? So at the moment, the emphasis is on survive, says so that later on down the line, you can thrive. The focus right now is survive. Yeah, fox spit it, think on your feet. Be smart, be coy, uh, be clever, be cunning. Number 27. Um, also, foxes, they're true survivors. They can adapt, a lot like rats, they can adapt to almost any environment, okay? So you, you will adapt, Capricorn. You absolutely will adapt. And again, it's temporary. Right, think on your feet, be alert for fox spirit has appeared and you're meant to move swiftly. Okay, um, let this clever spirit draw out your creativity as you adjust to rapidly changing circumstances with resilience. Now, why would anybody need resilience? They need resilience when, when shit's tough, you know. 
to adjust with resilience, grace and astuteness. Fox Spirit helps you to think on your feet, using your best judgment and wits to help you slip into a more advantageous situation. Now is not the time to hesitate, but a time for a swift action of the mind, a time to think outside the box. I really dislike that turn of phrase, but there we go. A time to think differently, Capcorn. <laughs> Uh, notice the many ways in which you might make a move, be aware of your surroundings and always clear on what you deserve and wish to co-create. Trust that your cleverness, guided by Fox Spirit, will serve you well. Are you camouflaging yourself to avoid intimacy? Perhaps you're being too clever for your own good and playing games to protect yourself. Being dishonest with yourself or others can be isolating and can create obstacles to true connections. Forest, uh, forest spirit? Fox spirit. Does someone live near a forest? Because that was an interesting slip up. <laughs> Fox Spirit calls you to be attuned to what is happening within you and around you so that your quick thinking and creativity can lead you to better relationships and better situations. Your call to use your Fox Spirit beneficially rather than in ways that keep you from experiencing what you want. Or perhaps right now you're realizing that a situation's trickier than it appears on the surface and you're afraid to make a move in case it turns out to be a mistake. Fox Spirit is here to remind you that when you are in alignment with Great Spirit, the answers and the solutions can come quickly and you can trust them. Oh, look at this one. Don't overthink a situation. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Don't overthink a situation in order to avoid the challenge of facing a difficult truth. Fox Spirit's creative nature will always be there to guide you and help you move quickly into better circumstances. Yeah, so Capricorn, the message there is basically at the moment you're needing to adapt to the new situation that you find yourself in. Focus on being a survivor, okay, and be rest assured that better circumstances will arrive and when those better circumstances arrive that's when you can make your move with this eight of cups say goodbye to this temporary stopgap this temporary job temporary employment temporary situation you can say goodbye to all of that however in the meanwhile be be patient okay um, so again, I can only apologize if that sounds patronizing or whatever, but that is your message there for your finances and career. So next I'm going to take a look at your love and relationships energy. And again, only take the messages that resonate specifically for you and anything that isn't your message, then you can leave that for someone else to enjoy okay okay welcome back capricorn let's take a look at your love and relationships energy for the month of october 2024 what's coming in for capricorn love and relationships please okay dead inside wow okay um superstitious okay so this one says settling apathetic and bored wanting different things not being oneself with dead inside so somebody's numb someone's feeling numb 
and they're superstitious, says extremely cautious, suspicious of others and their ulterior motives, questions and doubts others, needs others to prove themselves. So this combination, Capricorn, is demonstrating to me that at the moment you're hurting. Uh, you're hurting really, really deeply, actually, to the point where you've almost become numb. And uh, as a result of that hurt and that pain, it, it's like you're making other people work for it. You're, you're making other people um, prove to you that they can be trusted. Now, that um, need for others to earn your trust, that is healthy, right? Because obviously you don't want to be giving your trust away to just anybody and everybody, right? That, that obviously that would be a disaster. But what I can see with this energy here, Capricorn, is you've closed yourself off completely and utterly. Now, if that's not your energy and you're sitting there going, no, no, that, that's not me, that's not me, then that's probably going to be someone else that you're dealing with right now that is in this place okay um someone is given this vibe of being completely unapproachable right now so again that could be you that could be someone else just take it as it resonates but it's almost as if whoever is in this mindset is just basically expecting everybody to hurt them you know um so capricorn if this is you it's come from because you've fallen on such hard and horrible times of late that it's only natural that you're going to be expecting absolutely everything to be a disaster so what spirit is saying here for you guys is to make sure that you're not um being a doomer okay because if you're coming from this super super negative mindset which again trauma and pain and anxiety it can it absolutely does that to people right it, th this is just to be aware that that's what's going on okay it, it's not that you were always this way you you were not always this way or the person that you're dealing with was not always this way it's just literally someone has fallen on really hard times right now and so that they're, they're closing off completely um they're, they're almost lost to everybody else, okay? So again, Capricorn, if this is you, then just be aware of that. And you're being reminded that not everybody is out there to hurt you, okay? Yes, it feels that way right now because of, because of your own experiences. Um, but again, your own experiences can... It, it can cause a lot of unhealthy bias, okay? Because there are so many good, decent, kind, honest, loving people out there that would absolutely think the world of you, that, that would absolutely cherish you. It just feels like you've not yet had that experience. Do you know what I mean? Um, that that's not evidence of people like that don't exist okay that's what spirit's telling you here so be mindful just in case you are pushing everybody away or again if this is reading in reverse it could be you feeling that another person is currently pushing you away um, through their own grief, through their own problems, through their own trauma, okay? Um, like this combination here, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's pointless. Someone here is depressed, okay? It's either you, Capricorn, or somebody that you love and care for dearly is deeply, deeply depressed, okay? And they're only thinking of negative things constantly. And they're not feeling optimistic about life at all right now. Okay. So again, Capricorn, if that is you, then you're being reminded that it's temporary. Okay. It is temporary. Yeah. Entanglement. Karmic ties. Feels restricted and trapped by responsibilities. I think that that's you, Capricorn. I genuinely think that that's you feeling 
tied in and restricted by your own responsibilities and then wondering there's got to be more to life than just this and you're absolutely correct there there is more to life than than just this okay there absolutely is uh financial burdens and deep debts no way out mentally yeah somebody feels absolutely stuck absolutely stuck but you are being reassured here capricorn that a solution is on its way okay a solution is absolutely on its way can you tell us more about this entanglements for capricorn please entanglements the magician now this particular illustration of the magician I find is really really potent it's it carries a lot more weight to it than the traditional depiction of the magician and there's a really simple reason for that <laughs> really simple reason is because this has been illustrated in black and white there's no color in this card no color at all and the whole point is you color it in that's the whole point um this magician is a reminder that you are the magician in your own life you are the creator in your own life and again it, it sounds cheesy but you can orchestrate a lot more in your own life than what you give yourself credit for okay that's why it's in black and white because that, your life can become any colour that you want it to. Okay. Is you literally taking charge of the, the things that you can control. And not trying to control the, the things that are outside of your control. Okay. Now in terms of love and relationships i feel that if your responsibilities have taken you away from your loved ones for um an extended amount of time then this magician is all about making that time to spend with your loved ones so for example if you and a significant other you feel have drifted apart from each other because you know you're too damn busy right most of us are actually in that situation right now where the elites are making us work harder and harder and harder for for less and less money so it's harder to survive now and we're working longer and we're getting paid a lot less yeah again let's not shy away from difficult topics because that's real life right and so the vast majority of people are currently being taken away from their from their spouses from their other significant others from from their kids and from their own lives and from their own selves right that's the reality of it and still we don't seem to be getting out of our financial struggles either do we right so this magician energy is saying okay time management that's going to be key here so if you can do something for less absolutely do that something for less right free up more time to spend with your loved ones here the magician the magician is taking control nine of pentacles yeah nine of pentacles is self-assured it's self-assured it's a very strong energy okay it's usually associated with someone who is fiercely independent as well and with you being capricorn yes you are fiercely independent so this is saying you're already successful in a lot of ways 
you are really successful already. Um, the, it's unnecessary here for you to be putting additional pressures on yourself. Or again, that, that could be written in a different way. Okay, that, that could be written for someone else that, that you care about. What's under their strength? Yeah. I'm getting compromised with that strength. So it is time for you to reach a compromise here. Okay. What is it that Capricorn needs to focus on at this point in time, please? High vibes. So your focus, Capricorn, is going to be on keeping it and high vibes. Surround yourself with positivity. Connect with yourself. Connect with source. Uh, so frigo frequency. So that's like um, healing frequency music to fall asleep to. And your tribe. Okay, your soul tribe. But keep keep your vibe high. I tell you what, <laughs> to go with that message, do you want to laugh? Something a little bit X-rated, I, I will show you. <laughs> Speaking of high vibes, look at my new cup. <laughs> Positive vibes. So there you go. If that gave you a bit of a giggle, <laughs> then you're already on your way to raising your vibration. Okay, Laughter is a really high vibration, right? Keep your vibe high and life surfing, feeling capable of overcoming adversity. There you go. You will overcome this current adversity. No expectations, okay? So don't be putting yourself under any unnecessary pressure right now because that's going to be dragging you down and approaching life like a sport. See how he's riding that wave, okay? Um, so energetically and circumstantially, it, it's almost like the waves have gone out. And so you're just kind of biding your time and waiting for those waves to come back in. Okay. And the waves do always come back in. Always, 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 always. So you're just finding yourself at the bottom of the wheel of fortune at the moment. That's what's going on. And you can be rest assured that that wheel's going to turn again. Okay. What else? And because of that, your personal relationships and connections are paying the price. Uh, sometimes you have to follow your brain <laughs> because your heart is dumb as shit. But sometimes you have to follow your heart because your brain is full of shitty thoughts. Yeah, it basically means there's a time and a place for everything. Okay. There's a time and a place for you to follow your heart and then there's a time and a place for you to follow your brain. And it's all about trusting yourself to discern when is the right time to do something. Okay. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you did like it and you're wanting to see more. Information on how you can book a personal reading with me, that can be found in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.